Morgan. I'm Harrison. This is More Travel Please. We travel the world on as little money as possible. And right now we're in the best place in the world to be for autumn, and that's New England. So if you've been following our channel, which if you're not, you should totally hit subscribe. The last place you saw us was either Florida, yeah. Georgia, or Tennessee. But we've in real life made a pit stop to our home in New England. So we haven't been home for autumn here in the last couple of years because we've been traveling Europe. But we cannot miss it while we're here traveling the US because like Harrison said, there's no better place with the foliage and the beauty and the history to be in autumn than New England. So the first place we've come to is our personal recommendation of something to see if you're in this area, which is Wayside in Gristmill, one of the most quintessential fall landmarks in the area. This is a mill from 1929 and it's stunning. We come here literally every year. Like, so this is a real personal recommendation of ours, but this is only a pit stop in our fabulous day we have planned for you. And that spooky place is Salem, Massachusetts, famous for its witch hunting. So Morgan, you better watch your back when we get there. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> what the heck? Before we head into the city of Salem, we had to stop by Max's house from Hocus Pocus, which is right behind me. <laughs> we even met a Winnie Sanderson person here. Like, I know it's here, and we've been to Salem many times, but we've never seen this house. Like, what is up with that? So, yeah, there's gonna be a few more Hocus Pocus locations today in Salem. And if you haven't seen that movie, I'm sorry. hall right here was also used in Hocus Pocus during the scene when Danny and Max's parents got bewitched and had to dance all night and what's when the Sanderson sisters sang I put a spell on you Street, which is sort of the main drag of Salem. It's where you're gonna find most of the um, super big witchy shops. There's psychic fairs and psychic greetings and all sorts of cool stuff on this street. Um, we actually just waited a long time to get in one of the stores. You can kind of see the line behind me. We went to um, a coven's cottage and we actually got these really cool like dried hanging plants for the ceiling of our van. We think they're lavender but we're not sure. I'll show you um, maybe once they're unwrapped. So that's really how it is right now in Salem. It's already extremely busy and popular any normal year during October especially but now that it's COVID I mean if you want to get into any stores it's going to take you at least an hour and right now I'm kind of like dying inside because I want to go in there's like a there's like a cool dress shop over there and there's more witchy shops and Harry Potter shops and I want to go in them all but I don't have time to wait in line for them so we chose our one shop carefully and I think that's pretty much the most shopping we're going to get done here today sadly. So I actually found a way around this so if you go to Artist Row which is this seasonal initiative it's right outside of the town hall in Salem it's all of these local artists selling their handmade stuff. There's just about no lines over there, so it's a really good place to go and still be able to shop in Salem and support local artists. So I'd really recommend checking out Artist Row. So we've already showed you Max's house in Hocus Pocus, and behind me is Allison's house here in Salem. It's actually the Ropes Mansion, and it's free to go walk around the grounds and take some photos. But I don't think you can go into it. But it's actually right next to the Witch House, which has a real connection to the witch trials back in the day. I think it was Judge Proc who lived there way back when and sentenced many people to die from witchcraft. That is one really good thing about Salem. It's very walkable to the major locations that you're going to want to see. I mean, we're just right down the way from Essex Street, so if you find somewhere good to park, that might be your biggest problem parking, but when you find somewhere to park, it's not so hard to walk around. So for dinner, we went to Flying Saucer Pizza Company, a really cool, nerdy pizza place in Salem. All of the food and drinks on their menus are themed from things like Doctor Who, Star Trek, Star Wars, Harry Potter, all sorts of cool stuff. So we got a couple of cocktails. One was called James and the Giant Peach, which was mine, and Harrison got one called the Pumpkin King. There is alcohol in this. Oh yeah, she 
about that next time. <laughs> Besides that, they offer a ton of vegan and vegetarian options. So the pizza we ended up getting was called Vegan Mars Attacks. It has olive oil and garlic, vegan mozzarella, vegan meatballs, and red sauce on top. And okay, I think that in video form and photo form, it doesn't look the most amazing, but I have to tell you, this is literally one of the best pizzas we've ever had, and we've been craving this exact pizza ever since we left Salem. I don't know how they did it. This vegan mozzarella was literally incredible. It was everything, and if you told us it was real cheese, we would have believed it. So we are back in the Black Kraken after our day in Salem in Massachusetts. So as I mentioned before, Harris and I have been to Salem many times since we live in Rhode Island, and this was um, an interesting version of Salem because it is pandemic conditions Salem. So, you know, past times we have gotten our fortunes read, we've seen seances and done tours and the wax museum, history museum, witch stuff, and we've done a lot less stuff in this video. It really felt like sort of a fast track to Salem. We didn't get to do, you know, as much because it's the pandemic, but in the end, we're just grateful that we're even able to travel at all. Even though it's a pandemic, we're still safely social distancing, doing all the things that we can do to stay safe and still be able to travel. So we really can't complain. So um, what did you think about Salem? I thought it was great. I loved the food. I love the mm -hmm. atmosphere. I love how into it people are here. I mean, because the last two years we were in Europe when it was Halloween season and people just don't get into it in Europe. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let us know if you've been to Salem, if you would ever go to Salem, or what Halloween is like where you live. But I thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you appreciate our content and want to help us create more, then you can become a patron. Um, you get postcards and all sorts of cool rewards, link popping up. And um, if you can't do that, we also really appreciate sharing. Sharing is so helpful to us, such a small channel. It's like the most important thing, I think, is being able to share it. And there is actually a little share button that's right below our video that you can click and share it. It gives you multiple options to share it on like Facebook, Instagram, Reddit. It's a really easy thing to do and it really does help us out a lot. So if you think you have friends who are would be interested in our content, we super appreciate a share. Absolutely. Um, but if not, well, as well as that, please subscribe and like. And yeah, thanks again for watching. So we'll see you here in the next one. Bye! See ya!